I'm removing this brick hearth. What I'm using to do it is mostly the mini sledge, a hammer, cold chisels, and some of the bricks have wire behind them. So these dikes or side cutters. My goal is to save the sheetrock behind it and then I'll float over the sheetrock when I get to redoing the living room. Make sure you wear some safety glasses. I start with the smaller cold chisel and work it in a joint to get that joint to crack to remove the brick. There's some wire that's been used within this hearth. I use side cutters or dikes, we call them dikes, to cut the wire to remove the brick. There's also some nails in here that I have to remove. I pull the brick far enough away to expose the wire, then use the dikes to cut the wire. As you see, I have quite a few little nails in here and larger nails. You want to have something to protect your sliding glass door. I have a piece of cardboard there. It will get a little dusty in your house, so cover things if that's important to you. I've got two rows down. I'm going to keep going and I'll show you the progress as I go. I'm removing this for two reasons. One, the job wasn't done well. The other reason I'm removing these bricks is that I'm going to start doing my siding job. I'm going to use hardy plank. And these bricks weren't put in properly. They're not plumb. So it bows out the exterior wall right now. If you put on hardy plank and the wall is not absolutely plumb, you're going to have, it's going to telegraph and you're going to have waves in your hardy plank. So I'm taking these bricks off, removing the outside siding, putting on some plywood sheathing, and then the hardy plank. Now they're using plumber's tape to affix the mortar to the wall. Driving in a nail with plumber's tape into the mortar. So who knows what you'll find, just keep working at it. You can do this, y'all. Some of these are tough little puppies, y'all. Just gotta keep working at it. Don't give up. All right, y'all. I've got this much removed and I'm gonna keep going. But really, it's just a matter of cold chisels, right? A mini sledge, sometimes a hammer, breaking the joints, putting the cold chisel under it, pounding it in, breaking the joint a little bit more, and then it'll lift. 
Then you hit the top of the cold chisel with your awesome sledgehammer, mini sledge, and then it helps lift that and break the joints further. So I'm going to keep going and I'll show you what I do when I get to this area. All right, y'all, I cannot chip this away. Even hitting it with a sledgehammer only did that. So my sister brought over her demolition hammer and we're going to try to take these bricks, this row right here, with that because I cannot chip that away with anything I have. She has safety glasses on and ear protection. Yeah, it's already broke it loose. It's the force of the jackhammer for this. that's repeatedly hitting mm -hmm. this joint. And the weight of it. This is about 40 pounds, 45 pounds. It's heavy for us because we're older. But by continually hitting that joint, it just cracked it, y'all. Yeah, you know, when you use a jackhammer, you don't let it go in and in and in, further, further in. You let it get a little bit in and you back it back like that and break it loose. I pulled the row of bricks out that she's chipped away, leaned it over so that we can hit it now at the top to break it into small pieces to be able to get rid of it a little bit easier. Keep your feet away from the thing. Very dusty in here, y'all. Make sure you cover whatever you want to protect. Protect your sliding glass door with some sort of cardboard. Yeah. We've got these bricks broken up. Sister's going to use the demolition hammer. See what we can do with the rest of them to move this process along. saying you don't really put a lot of weight on that demolition hammer you let it do its job you just control it um, that's a Makita she's had that for about 25 years she rebuilt a house and used that to jackhammer out the entire foundation to have it report with the walls up she was in her early 40s she's now in her mid 60s I'm close to 60 so that's really heavy for us to work with, but sister took it like a champ. Here's what I'd recommend. When you're taking the walls, use cold chisels because you gotta be able to control that if you don't want to destroy the wall. And that's what I wanted. Any cement products that are dusty, and this was, uh, we recommend you wear a mask. Uh, safety glasses and a mask. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup and remove the platform that the hearth is built on. I removed all the nails from the plywood on the platform. What I use to do that is a nail puller or a cat's paw, a hammer, just a container to put the nails in. I'll show you what I found under there. See that carcass of that rat and all these droppings. So, if you're faint of heart, this is probably not the work for you. But I'm going to pick all that fiberglass up, insulation, and the carcass, and I'm not sure what else I have under there. I removed the plywood, so now I'm going to clean this up and get this out of here, the frame for the platform. I knocked this board off this way with a sledgehammer, and I'm taking the nails out because I want to reuse that board. That's a nice piece of, it's several pieces of wood nailed together. That will come in handy. It's getting late in the day, so I'm almost done. I need to remove those two pieces from the wall and these two. 
And that's how you remove a brick hearth with cold chisels and a demolition hammer. Hope it helps and happy DIYing.